Winner Bracket Final between Team YouTube and GT. Very surprising Winner Bracket Final here. I think these are two teams we have never seen. No, have you seen GT in the Winner Bracket before? I'm not sure. But Team YouTube or GT, one of them is going to make the Grand Final for the first time. This is a history being currently made in North America. Neither of these teams have made the Grand Final in the season yet. And one of these teams makes the Grand Final. Your pump, thank you very much for the raid. Messi, Messi. We have Garbor, Slowbro, Nighthead, Buswall, and Lissy for the left side. Up against Oshifo, Dodrio, Stendelua, Trevenant, and an Aedagos. So, was GT in the Grand Final once? I'm not sure, actually, actually they might have been in the Grand Final once. Actually, GT, I think, was, yeah. Actually, were they? Probably. Maybe. They haven't won yet, right, though? GT hasn't won a tournament yet, but maybe they made the Grand Final once. But Team YouTube has never been this far. Team YouTube has never been top 3, and now they're actually top 3. Question is, can they do more? Can they move towards the Grand Final? Chaotic Phil looking for this last hit right here. Can they secure it? It goes over to Slowpoke, and yes, he secures it with the Water Gun. Wonderfully done. Can Phil get out, though? Yes, he can. There's quite a big lane for GT in this early game. Trevenant and the Chandelure don't have the best early game. But they're just trying very hard, though, and Chandelure at least secures the NED in the mid. And now the NED on the left side also goes over to Team YouTube. Phil is getting level 4. And I assume you're going to see a Surf. If you have an XP share slow, bro, it's pretty much always Surf. If he doesn't have XP share, there's a higher chance it could be Skyed, but yeah. Goes for the Surf. It's a defensive stun build. Which currently is up to the better build, for sure. I Especially against how many special attacker Pokemon they're currently in the game. I mean, he's up against Trevenant, Oshifu, and Dodrio, though, so Skyed wouldn't even be too bad. But yeah, Surf is for sure superior. And Phil is going to select this one. Question is, does he go for Amnesia or Telekinesis? We're gonna find out next. They're gonna go for this last hit right here, but Victor's being charged up and he's gonna get it. Ushif is able to secure this last hit. Now we have Chandler's central airing, and Ushif is just staying bot path. Can lock holding get level 5 right here. Ui has been having a great tournament on this bus wall. Beating TTV as well on the bus wall. Looking for the next last hit. Super power goes in, and lock holding drops a lot of HP right here, but he's gonna go in. Scores 12 points. And he's gonna be quite happy about that as well. We're now looking for the Edegos. Super power goes in. But not enough damage, of course, right now to take any Pokemon down. Atari has a mid disappear in just three seconds. Gardevoir and Ninetales are great combos where they do so much damage together. Blizzard into Avalanche into Gardevoir damage is just almost any Pokemon is gonna go down. Very, very fast. Quite scary to be up against. Don't you know, finally level 6 has the try attack, actually. We're gonna see probably a fight happening on Botpath now. Stalking on level 7 for the Chandelure. It's doing very good as well. Was then for the overheat. Seven and a half now. But we're gonna have Sam also hitting level eight. And now we have Fui trying to maybe bully down this this Dodri. He's for sure gonna stay top path. He's gonna try to get all the experience that he can. But actually, I think Lakoni actually steals this one away. He goes in with a try attack. And just dances around Buster right now. Wonderfully played by Lakoning. But the bot fight is breaking out. Your guard were already taken on Trevenant. Black Shot is dropping on HP. Can he take on his Regis? He has to queue up the Reggie Viclo so early on and has no chance of getting it. He gets taken down. He just had to do it to make sure he doesn't get stunned and gets the damage reduction in. But it's just way too early, charged up. And we have Team YouTube taking the first Reggie of the game. The coding, level 8 now, takes away a red buff. I should do quite well now after the early game. Sam, though, popping an X speed actually, looking for the coding. Sidekick, Psyshock does a lot of damage. But enough to confirm any chaos. Avalanche into Blizzard for Chaotic, trying to take those Ataria. And we just have Eknoop sneaking in. He's gonna score 19 points. Level 7 now. Is he gonna go for Pain Split? And we have another Avalanche Blizzard Night Heads. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't. Okay, there we No, okay, never mind. Chaotic now. Okay, all good. All good. All right, I don't have to cry. Whew, saved. Saved, saved, saved. Saved, saved, saved. Because I feel like if he did Blizzard into Avalanche there on Trevenant, he actually had a higher chance of getting the knockout. I'm sorry, quite confused. Cody getting jump on now by the Yoshifu takedown. He just can't move. The wonderful engage by GT. They take down two Nine Tails and Garo at the same time. Look for the next members where Blizzard Assistance goes very deep onto Slow Brown to fail. The Surf's gonna turn around. Eclipse is gonna get taken down. But GT is going to break the goal, and now they're stuck in the overheat damage of stocking. They're going to take down Blissey, going to try to go for the slow bro next. Black Shot dropping on HP, he's going to use Unite for the Torrio, it's going to take him down. And Black is still, still going to live, but Punny taken down. The move lock is going to stop Nine Tits from chasing stocking. And they're going to get away from now. 
Another blizzard is gonna come through. Not enough damage, of course. But overheat is quite, quite nice. I mean, this game is hard to call. 39 to 1 and 17 points now. Game is very close. Let me just check if uh, when the TTB game is starting. Actually, no, I can't right now because I'm spectating. But yeah, stalking is doing very well so far on the channel as well, this game. She's the newest member of GT. Joined them, I think, in the last tournament. And for sure, one of the best attacker players right now that they are in North America. Reggie Steel is still a full HP. They're trying to go for the slow, but they're going to take on the slow. Regardless, it's going to land on the backside, but it's nothing actually. Terrible team for Team YouTube. Two are down, three are down. They're going to try to chase down Aquilo as well, but they can't. Team YouTube gets obliterated in this team fight. They missed the Guard of War Unite actually. I thought they hit something, but they did hit nothing with it. And a taken down. Hui level 11 and a half now though. Still doing quite fine on his own. But uh, yeah, at some point the team fights have to happen for Team YouTube. But again, this game is still close. It's for sure not looking too bad. GT is able to secure the Reggie and get a team fight win. But they're not too far ahead. Cause Garda was still the highest experience in the game. Same for Boss Boy. So Team YouTube has been farming very well in this game. Next engage might happen up here. Big Blow's being charged up. They're gonna jump onto Sam. But the Slopey Knight is wonderful. It's gonna stop Ushifu from activating the second the Big Blow. But they can't take him down. Buzzfu just gets destroyed. By the Imprison and Overheat damage from Shandalur. Doji's also gonna take down Blissey on bot path. Bill is gonna fall next to the Big Blow. Blissey gets blown into pieces. I mean, nine heads. Four people down again from Team YouTube. And GT get another team fight win. Triple KO for Shandalur. Hawking's having a very good game now. 139 to 97 points. Now it's going to look bad for YouTube to come back into this game. Now it's looking rough. But anything can happen in Pokemon Unite, right? Anything can happen. One more Reggie spawning a bot path in four seconds. Is the other team going to go for it? Active getting caught and that's a, that's a pick. Anything can happen. Trevenant gets caught. But it's not going to matter too much. Neither team is going to go for this Reggie. And he's gonna respawn in time, unless Team YouTube just goes for a very aggressive play now. As long as Trevenant's down, they can maybe look for something. Slope is walking forward, Phil looking for the engage, but Trevenant's already back now. Chief on the top side, up against Buswell. Surf goes in, Phil on the wrong side, and he's gonna pull the Ray! Oh, they drop on low, low HP, though, has to use Unite, who's gonna eject button back out. Rayquaza at half HP, who's gonna get this one, and it's goes over to the right side. GT's gonna secure the Rayquaza. That's gonna be game. Team YouTube realize they can't win a team fight. They go for the Ray. But they don't have the big blow Shifu either. And they get taken down. So GT is going to take the first game. Game number two between Team YouTube and GT. We have Eligos, Buzzwell again for free. Nine Tails, Trevenant, and Espion for the side of Team YouTube. Up against Super Dodio, Shanalua, Member Swine. And Mew for GT. is actually stalking, not playing Mew. She is sticking towards the Shanalua. All right. That's quite, I mean, that's quite surprising not seeing, you know, when they have Mew. Stalking, not playing it. As you mentioned multiple times already, one of the best Mew players in North America. But apparently Black Shah probably also very good on Mew as well. Stalking gonna take over the center area on the right side. On the left side we have Sam doing the same with that Espeon. Could there be a start? I want to see a start for a Psybeam Espeon. He actually just takes one buff right now and going towards the top path already. Can you get level 4 right here? I would like to see a store power. Store power side beam would make me very happy. But I, I probably it's gonna be the side shock, right? Oh no, it's the store power. There we go. Sam is putting out the store power. Now we just need the side beam as well going in. Six, eight, and seven points go in for the side of Team YouTube. And they're gonna try to be very aggressive top path already. I like it. Phil though, man, he's, he's surrounded by four people right now. But he's gonna try to get the wrap up at least. I'm not sure if he actually got it. Look very close, but he gets taken down the moment the rep goes down. And just trying to be annoying on the right side. Cortex and Lucis last hit over to the Electro Ball. Has no chance of getting this one, of course. Mew has much better last hitting early game than the Night Hits has. But on level 6, Night Hits can start contesting those. Much, much easier. Avalanche into the Icy Wind. And I'm going to try to go with this last hit. Nice boost out of tech. Wait there for Kaotic to take. This last hit is Swinoop gonna fall as well. Yes, they're gonna get Eknoop right here. Taken down just slowly but surely by the boost auto attacks or the auto attacks. 30 points, we're going for 9 tails. This is huge for the South Team YouTube already. And actually, stop power is very good into Dodrio. 
Start power is very, very good into Dodrio. And Dodrio getting taken down by the Mega Punch now. Fui also landing. He is landing that future, uh, that super power. Can they take down Espo or a basic attack? Yes, they do so. And is it going to be Psybeam? Yes, it's the Sword Power Psybeam build for Sam. Very, very good. Against a Dodrio as well. Of course, Future Sight would actually be better against Dodrio, but I like the Psybeam. It just does so much burst, burst damage. It gives you objectives. It gives you last hitting. Very good in team fights as well with, with a Trevon and still. If they all get Wood Tamed into Psybeam, they will get double stunned. It's very, very strong. Sam on his way to level 8. Kaute getting stunned. Boost Outtake comes in from you, but not enough damage. In this early stage from you to actually take down and last and that KO right there. Stocking. He's going to hit level 7 right here. It's gonna probably be imprisoned this game, I would assume so. Up against Buswell, you probably won't imprison. Because Buswell can't play into it. And yes, it's gonna be in prison. For the Chandelure. Bot Ataria spawning already. 90 to 40 points in YouTube. Having great early games so far. Level 8 for the Night Hits, level 8 for Sam as well on the uh, Espeon. Bit of overheat damage coming out, but not too much. 8 seconds for the bot objective. We have again Fui staying top path, of course. He's not gonna go towards bot. And now we have also the coding running in. Try attack is gonna land. Another try attack with auto attack. Can he take on Fui? Doesn't have enough damage, but procs the focus ban at least. Now the bot fight is happening. Sam's gonna go for the start power. Can he secure it with the side beam? That's the question. Black looking for the last hit, potentially. Under half HP, no Agnub looking for the dive in. Actually, I'm surprised we see a Mammoth Swine. I'm just like, I didn't even realize they have a Mammoth Swine. Blizzard comes in, the side beam, and they're secured for the side. And the eject button is up with Unite. He's gonna knock up three members of GT. They're gonna try to go for the Mammoth Swine next. They're gonna take him down as one KO for the side of Team YouTube. Can they get any counter knockouts though for the side of GT now? Team YT all get out. And stay alive for now. Ninetales says Unite move up. He can look for a play maybe. If he wants to, be a bit more aggressive. Does he have eject button up? He doesn't have eject button up. Okay, so never mind. Without eject button, might be too risky to look for a play. Also much more difficult to actually go into the enemy team. Yeah, I'm actually surprised to see Mammoswine. We haven't seen Mammoswine in a such a long time, actually, because there's Trevenant, there's Lapras, there's Slowbro, Snorlax, all of those defenders are just picked. Instead of um, Mammoth Fire, they're actually going in with the Dodrio Unite move right here. Looking for a code, they count it double HP, another boost out in Camp he's gonna count the Unite move and blow Dodrio up. Dodrio gets taken down. A little bit too aggressive, but so does Fui. Fui and then we flux down, gets stuck on the wrong side of the map, and also taken down. Trying a bit too hard there to go in for the coding. Vigilecki still up for grabs. And I think it's good for either team because they have to start scoring some points. But we just have a hyperspace pod rotation coming in. And GT is going for the spot push. Can Phil hold down this bot point alone? Doesn't look like he will be able to do so. As the pain split, Woodhammer's coming through. He actually has Unite with two members of GT. But he's going to surely go down, right? Another pain split coming through. But actually, Phil's going to live. He's going to defend the goal quite well. Edigos flies in. He's going to land on the pillow swine and take him down as well. So Phil actually successfully holding on this bot goal. Pretty much alone. And his team is going to get the Regilecki in. So, Team YouTube with a huge win. They hold on bot. And they also get the Regilecki into the second goal on top path. At 222 points now. Recording hitting level 10 right here. And they're going to also turn around and put some points into this. Top goal is 77 in total. But Chandler taken out by Buswell. Fully going very aggressive right now. Looking for the Booba and Bound as well. Goes for the superpower into the smackdown onto Hooper. USB Unite locks up Hooper as well. Into the Nightmoof onto Mew. He's gonna follow him almost towards the second goal. And Fui is so impressive right now. Goes in smackdown superpower. Double KO for the bus wall. Looking for Stocky May. Next Stocky with a huge laser though. She takes down two. Looking for the third right now. Can they somewhat take down Fui as well? Traveling on the chase. The pain split trying to keep Phil alive. Stocking with another. Imprison is going to land into the boost out attack. Of Dodrio and they take down Phil as well. Huge turnaround there by the Chandelure. We're going in looking for another smackdown. Can he find no the swap? He gets stunned in the air. And Reggie secured by the Hooper of GT. Now on the chase as well. They're gonna try to take him on Kilo unless they can. Power take trying to go and looking for the Avalanche Blizzard into Eject, but he's gonna hit five members of GT. But there's not enough damage to confirm a single knockout. They're going trying to back in, going for stalking and Woodhammer's there, but they all get back in base in time, but Hooper gets taken down. In the end. Oh my. What a close back and forth fight on the spot path. 261 to 132 points right now in favor of Team YouTube still. 
But this game could go either way for sure. This game will still go either way. It's, it's impossible to call who's going to win this one. Even though I'm not sure who is better late game. Edegos Trevenant, Nine Tails are still pretty decent as well, but Chandelure Mew is very good late game. Koopa as well. Going in with the Phantom Force, but realize there's too many members of Team YouTube there. Okay, walking up, making sure Hooper can't go into the hyperspace portal. I mean, it's not going to matter, but still. Stocking, not going for the Regilecki. Should be quite free for GT. And yeah, Team YouTube doesn't contest it whatsoever. They have a point lead still, so I guess they don't catch much. But taking a weird fight they don't want to take. I'm not sure if I like the Pain Split so much, though. Like, I'm, we still see Pain Split being played sometimes. But is it really better than Horn Leech? It's very hard to tell. It's very hard to tell. Hyperspace portal rotation coming through towards bot path. Team YouTube has enough time now to clear this Regilecki. And we have three members of Team YouTube trying to hold on this bottom path. But GT is looking for the push now. We have him with a double botema dropping. Is he going to lose his passive right here? It would be huge. Yes, he's going to lose the passive. Yes, he goes down. He goes down. Loses his passive. Maybe even loses focus band. Pretty terrible for Phil. Not having your passive up for the last team fight can be quite rough because you get a lot of cool reduction from it, which means a lot of additional moves coming out of the Trevenant if you have it up. My Quasar has spawned. Who's gonna go for this one? GT is still behind right now, Team YouTube with a lead. Dodio sneaking around top path, neither team really committing to anything yet. Fui just standing around, seeing if Dodio is going to back cap. I mean, very obvious play that Dodio might go for this one, especially with the Hooper on the team. And Fui's gonna spot him out now. He knows he's in the bush. Maybe even goes for a sneaky jack button play. Goes in now, there's the agility. Fui looking for it. Can he chase him down somehow now? Dodio just too fast. There's Super Unbound coming as well. And now we might just have Rayquaza to have HP. We have GT committing for to Rayquaza. He's trying to zone stocking. The laser doesn't come through. He's gonna get this Rayquaza. We go through to Espeon. There's the side beam coming in. And Espeon's gonna secure the Rayquaza for Team YouTube. Three people down of GT. And Team YouTube's gonna take the second game. After securing the Ray. Oh my. Game number three between Yuplo and GT. We have Hoopa. Bus for Nine Tails, Trevenant, and Espion for the left side. Up against Channel Dodrio, Edigos, Snorlax, and a Defox. I mean, we need a YouTube TTV Grand Final, right, guys? We need TTV YouTube Grand Final. That's what we need to save Unite. That's what that's that's the only thing I can save Unite right now. Nothing else can save Unite. <clears throat> no, Glacier, Icy is Spear is banned, so yeah, you can play Icy Spear. You can play Icy Wind, though. Who's gonna head towards the grand final? This game will decide it. Team YouTube or GT? 
Again, would be the highest place. It's already, I think, the highest place finish for Team YouTube ever. But if they get to the Grand Final, that would be a huge boost for the Regionists as well. If they can actually make it towards the Grand Final for the first time. It would be quite nice to see. We your top path again. Playing Bust for the entire tournament, I think. Playing it again. Just believing in the big buck and the big muscle man to carry him through. Big looking for this last right here, but he's up against Teke. Can he get this somehow? There's no way right now. The Teke comes through. And they're going to secure the last hit quite easily. Kautik is trying to get to level 4. And there we go. Avalanche already unlocked. Going to try to go for this last hit at least. And he's able to get it. With that icy wind. He's able to secure it. We take no damage there from Espo. And Sam again on the Espion. Playing the stored power Cybeam build. For a second game in a row. Stocking on the Chandelure as well for a third time. With that overheat build. Not a big surprise there. And the Atari are spawning literally right now. We're still looking for level 5. The coding was maybe looking for a boost auto take to see something away, but doesn't want to overcome it. It's quite quite scared. Yeah, he doesn't want to go in. That's stored power. And the bus was going to do a lot of damage right now. They're going to try to score some points as well, though. Has to be careful now. <laughs> it's going to quick attack away quite fast. And 16 points go in for the bus with Max those in. Hyperspace port also taken. Slam gets another 8 in. And they're going to try to just make sure that this uh, coding doesn't get any experience up on this top head. Another five points go in. Stacking that attack weight for Fui. Looking for the next last hit. And I don't think they got it though. Actually, maybe Sam got it. Koopa now looking for the invade. Akilo is going to spot out. And hyperspace ported damage is going to be enough. No, he actually missed times the boost out attack though. He still gets it. Because Black had no abilities up. Akilo gets away with the blue of C. It's going to use deck speed. And he's actually going to try to go for the Dale Fox. Hyperspace ported damage. It's going to be enough. He's going to basic attack. Oh my god. But he eject button across the wall. Gets the berry. And makes it out alive. Egg loop against Phil. Phil's looking for level 5. Heavy slam goes in a bit too early though. So Phil's able to secure it. Still looking for that Woodhammer. Slam almost taking down Stocking. On the right side. And yeah, the coding is having a terrible time on top path now. No chance against the uh, level 7 bus wheel. It's about to happen. Chaotic level 7 as well. So Team YouTube with pretty good early game so far. Winning, I feel like, top and bot at the same time. But now we have also a Dale Fox. All the side of black. Is it going to be a Fire Blast? Is it going to be Mystic of Fire? It's going to be Mystic of Fire. We saw so much Fire Blast fires in the last tournament and suddenly we downed. And yeah, Fui actually joining the team now and Phil is going top path. They want Phil to get some experience, but can he really win against up against Dodrio? When boost out take goes in, he's going to lose this last hit at least. Quite interesting, they'll leave their defender top path. Another hyperspace portal might come through though if they want to get Trevenin back to bot path. And now Fui is kind of just wasting time right here. The coding looking for an invade, nothing is really up except for one by toy, he's going to see this one away. And Team YouTube is just kind of wasting a lot of time. Because stocking is like, okay, you guys have fun down there. I'm going to go clear the rep buff. And get some more experience in. Because the rage is dead. Full HP. Dude's going to score more points as well. Evidence Blizzard is going to miss. Vegais is up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. For there's the fire. Actually, it's fire's been missing a fire. Interesting. Regice on a half HP now is going to secure this one. Is he going to try to superpower summon onto top of Regice? He's looking for it, but this goes down to the missing fire. And in the end, I don't know what Team YouTube is doing right now, but GT is going to secure the Reggie. Esper gets punched into the air, though, taking down Sammy Jack, buttoning forward as a Withy Knight move. Stored power onto Chandelure. But Stalking will be able to run away. That was so weird by Team YouTube. I have. I don't. I don't. That was so weird by Team YouTube. They kind of just waste a lot of time and then they go for anything. Fury might be caught as well right here. Takes a lot of damage. Overheat damage is there in prison. Trying to hit the Mystic of Fire. Lands onto Ninetales. Ninetales dropping no HP. Heavy Slap is going to come through. And I think Ninetales has to use Unite Boot right here to maybe live. Can he take on Egg Noob? The block's going to give him unstoppable. And they're all able to run away for now. No casualties. Out of this team fight. 66 to 42 points. They're going to try to get those 30 points in. And actually, no one is top right now. For the side of GT, there are five people bot path. Looking for push right here. They're going to drop the Dead Fox tonight onto the goal. And they're going to try to look for this push and break off the goal. But a Trevenant tries to defend, but they have no chance in this Dead Fox tonight. He's also going to get reduced healing now from his passive in it. Fire Spin is going to hit. That's two down. That's three down. Heavy Slam onto the Hooper. That's four down. GT with a push onto bot goal and they succeed. Triple KO for the Chandelure.
and Team YouTube loses a lot of points, a lot of experience right there. They at least get top goal though, of course, but is that really worth it? No, it's not worth it. According to trying to go in, but Team YouTube is defending. But they're gonna get at least a free Vegilecki. Yeah, up against the Dead Fox Unite, you just can't walk up. They probably just had to give. They probably just had to give up the um, goal with that Dead Fox Unite on. Especially as 3 against 5, you just can't defend, right? It's too difficult. But like it's gonna get cleared for free. And what can Team YouTube do right here? They have Hoopa and Bound ready for this bottom fight. Hoopa now hitting level 9. He's still missing level 9, though. Is he gonna hit it? No, he just hit level 9 as well. Okay. Four Unites up for the side of Team YouTube. Three Unites up for the side of GT. Oh, the coding is face checking. There's the, there's the heavy slam. I mean, the heavy slam, the super power into, egg, into Smackdown. But he has the full heal up. He has the GT up as well. Codec has to run away. Now, the nice Fox in the dance to the four. He's gonna smack down Snorlax on top of Dale Fox, but he can't get away. No, Phil with the flank. He's gonna hit a three man Unite move. But can he connect any KOs? The question doesn't look like he will be able to do so. Pain split onto the Snorlax. But GT all getting out alive on this fight. Which is still up for grabs. Hoopa and Bone is still ready. The port is him in. Is he gonna activate it soon or is he just gonna wait? Nope. Still waiting. I'm quite surprised they're just pulling the trigger maybe on this. There we go. There's the Huban Bound coming up. He's just waiting for something to happen. Eggnoop getting stunned. Heavy slamming in quite early with the block. Trying to get free maybe in, but he doesn't really do anything. He just loses a lot of HP. Might activate. He doesn't have Unite move either. Eggnoop just goes down. He just straight up runs it down. He has places to be at, apparently. He wants to go towards the... Okay, I don't want to be toxic now, but... Uh, Star Power Psybeam lands onto Red Eyes. Bit of miscommunication there by the side of GT. And now the coding also getting caught. Star Power's gonna hit, but he has the agility and boost auto attacks. To get out quite easily. And one of the Regilecki spawning on top path. Pretty good for Team YouTube because they have their goal behind, which makes it easier to fight in this area. But both teams are very passive now. Nothing is really happening in the last two minutes. After that bot goal push. GT though. They're the ones starting the Regilecki. Team YouTube doesn't want to fight it apparently. They don't want to go for this one. And Regilecki gets taken. Heavy slam lands onto nine tails, But no real follow up. Just a bit of zoning to make sure they can't get sniped away. And they're going to try to clear this Regilecki very fast. Do they have enough time? 10 seconds. GT is going to try to go in position. They have full vision now on the side of, of the YouTube. So they know exactly where Team YouTube is. But the Hoopa Unbound, of course, can always just port people towards different positions. They're gonna try to trap up here. Fui, of course, knows something might be up. Since they have no vision currently. And we're just waiting. Waiting for something to happen. Fui, though, gets... Oh, they spot him out. They're going for the Heavy Slam Fire Spinner spell. But there's the full heal. He's gonna just engage in straight up onto the Snorlax with the Unite move. I'm not sure if that was the right call, but he's gonna force the Edigos Unite at least. Quite surprised. There's a wood nice Wotemar landing. Oh my god. Phil with the engage of the Wotemar left side as well. We have Dojo maybe caught. The stop power is going to follow. And he's going to get taken down. Two people down off GT. And Team YouTube can start going for the Red Crazer maybe. It's all down to stocking Eknoop and Espinal to make something happen in this fight. But Team YouTube actually has to reset. They have to reset. Death is going to respawn in time. Kaude can slowly work on this Red Crazer. We use the hyperspace portal. But we're gonna have Delfox Dory joining back soon. They're gonna use the Avalanche Blizzard onto, onto Snorlax. Can they take on Snorlax? Smackdown? But he somehow heavy slams out over there. Delfox is not landing. And now Pui is in a very bad spot. Pui is for sure gonna get taken down right here. Oh, he can't go back to the left side. He gets completely zoned from his team. But they're gonna try to go for the Rekrasa. There's no the 3v4. Team YouTube is falling apart. Hoopers down. They're gonna try to go for Nightest. They have Psybeam up, but they're gonna use Psybeam. Nightest also down. And Team YouTube just falls apart. They all get taken down. And Team YouTube. They lose Rayquaza. That was a very weird fight, I have to say. They just fell apart. And GT is gonna move to the grand final. Team YouTube is either gonna face TTV or AG next. But yeah, that was uh hmm. That was a bit weird by YouTube. They were just very undecisive what they want to do. They had two knockouts and they just really didn't do anything with it. They were to find Deathbox, they were to find, I think, who was it? Was it Edigos? No, it wasn't Edigos Dodrio, and they just couldn't do anything with it. I guess they just have no damage for Ray to take it down, maybe. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty uh, brutal loss.
They said to try to do something, but they just waited too long. Dead Fox respawned. The Dead Fox Ignite split Buzz will apart from his team. And GT is going to take it 2-1.